of Berlanga. They always close to the ground. You know, power punchers. I like that. They like to dig their toes into the canvas because power. Oh, there's a big right hand, and he's got his man hurt. Samir Barbosa is wobbly here early on, and it's over exactly as we expected. 10 and 0. So here he is, Berlanga. There's a straight right hand right down the middle. Like I said, he blinded him with the jab. A lot of times when you get guys that have punching power, they just look to come in and just throw the power. But Berlanga set, set it up, you know, off the jab and came straight down the middle to land that power shot to end the night. And the way to close, man, you know, he keep, knows how to maintain his distance and keep his distance very well to be able to extend with that right hand. See how he turned that shot over? Sure did. That's effective. That's devastating. Berlanga backs up bar two. Ooh, ooh. Look at that combination! Right there. Three punch combination. Down comes oh. bar two. And he beat the count. Count is at six, seven, eight. He will and not get up. It's over. There's your knockout. There's your immediacy. There's your excitement from Berlanga. Someone else. Berlanga's. Boy, look at these three punches. Big three. Solid. Solid shots, three punches, not just one, you're right, three punches. You cannot, many times, you cannot knock out somebody with one single punch. You know, unless you're a great big heavyweight sometimes, but... Four seconds, and we're coming up on 90 seconds in right here. Just missed with that right hand. Half a round to go. Nobody has seen the second round. There's the first knockdown. It was a right hand and then a sweeping left hand, and Trinell, the Frenchman, shakes it off. Right, Belanga's in total control. You see him come over to overhand right and come behind with the hook and follow up with combinations. He lands a left hook right on the ear of Trey Nell. And put him down. He kind of pushed him down a little bit right there. In the black and silver trucks. Oh, gets knocked down right in front of us. The first knockdown at the hands of the professional, Xander Zayas. Exciting fighters under the top ranked promotional banner. The first knockdown, which we had trouble seeing because it was literally blocked right in front of us, came from that straight right hand. Yeah, I like the way he, how he galloping. See how he galloping? That he throws his jab, throws it more or less like a throwaway jab to set up the right hand, which was really great. First knockdown of the career of Xander Zayas. Straight right hand right in front of Bob Arum, who you can see there. How about that start, Bo Mack? That's a good start for 17-year-old Xander. It's a good start for anybody. Comes right back over the top with the right hand. He's going to be looking for that right hand again. And he goes down again. And Jay Nady calls the fight. Xander Zayas, the win in round number one. He threw it around the glove this time. Set it up with the jab again. Why that? The guy set it up with the jab, he was coming around the glove. And then, just for good measure, the right hand to the body. And Jay Nady wasting no time, waving off the fight. Jab, jab around. Down to the body. Beautiful. Yeah. Textbook. And the right hand as Berlanga smiles. Yeah, you can see it in his eyes. He knows he's got his man in a good position right now. And what I've seen from Cesar Nunez, though, he's a very tough guy, very capable. He's durable. He is, and he went down for the second time in round one. His legs have folded underneath him. Referee said not an Oh, they're that calling it a head. slip. They're trying to pop that jab out there. But really no defense for any of these strong shots from Edgar Berlanga. He is hurt once again with a big shot. He's trying to move around for his life right now as Berlanga continues. Body shot. Great left hand to the body and drops Nunez and again. That's it. Number 13. Here's the second knockdown that the referee um, called, you know, a shot to the back of the head. That looked like a left hand to the body to me. Yeah, that was a killer left hand. This is actually <laughs> the end of the fight. That was the left that, hook that right was before it. with the right hand that put him down. That was it. One minute into round one. Two minutes to keep the streak alive for Berlanga. Another left hook. He did damage right there. Get off him. Get off him. He done. 
He did damage right there. A right hand comes in. A left hook comes in. He's got him against the ropes. Can he keep the streak alive? Swings out and that's it. TKO victory. He did it again. Look at the face of Bellows in just over a minute against the heavy hands of the knockout artist Edgar Berlanga. He thought a shot was coming. It didn't. Just missed that shot. He landed a right you see hand. the blood come out on impact? Just on that overhand right. Now he's loading up a little bit because he knows he has Bellows hurt. And I got a little nervous, and I'm looking at the ref like, ref, you may want to get in there because Berlanga has got bad intentions, like we've been saying, on every punch that he's throwing. And he's got the kind of power that can really, really hurt an opponent, especially an overmatched opponent like Bellow. Tim, here's the thing when we talk about heavy hands. Even the glancing blows. Yes. Even the blows that aren't flush are doing damage. Did you see the blood on impact from the right hand? Did you see the look in the eyes of Bellows on the left hook? Uh, Anything that touches from the heavy hands of Berlanga. He told us yesterday, there is no doubt I'm not getting stopped. Thudding right hands, three straight right hands, doing damage, and he puts him down. Unbelievable. Berlanga does damage just like that. The deliver was on him and over delivered. You know what I like about what Berlanga's doing here? He's coming around the guard. He got a guy that has the earmuffs on, coming around the guard, hit him high on the head, right on, around on the ear, that caused his first knockdown. Thudding right hand. Combination punching. Steps to him. Wraps around with the right. Trying to get rid of him. Oh, puts him nearly through the ropes. That is a technical knockdown. The ropes held him up. But then he just, he comes behind the jab, and now he's throwing a little hard because he knows he has Ulysses hurt. But the placement of the shots, he's landing the shots in the right place. This is a veteran guy, been in a lot of, lot of training camp, my camp for one. Berlanga stalking with that sweeping right hand. Now being patient for a moment. He's down again. It's over. He did it. The streak continues. 16 for 16. We got a star in Vegas blossoming in the sport, and his name is Edgar Berlanga. Get this kind of reaction from this guy. You see him trying to knock the left hand of Ulysses down, and it doesn't seem like much, right. but that speaks to the power of Berlanga because if he grazes you just like that on top of the head, guys don't want any more. They think they do until they get hit. Let's see if Berlanga can get rid of him. Oh, what a big <laughs> shot. He's damaged against the ropes. Here comes the chosen one as Nicholson, the veteran, tries to just hang on for dear life. Hook to the temple and then the final flurry of that round when he had damage against the ropes. The crazy part is, is that he just hit the gloves. He didn't really hit him. He grazed him with that shot. Nicholson was still hurt by that left hook. Mm, nice right hand right there. Landed. Oh Lead right goodness. by Nicholson, but it doesn't take much with the return fire. Look at Berlanga splitting the guard with a right hand. Nicholson trying to hold on. And he also lands a nice left hook here early in round number one. And there's that left hook. Layton's in the corner. He's pinned. And Zayas is going to work. And you hear the crowd. He said, I'm so happy because last time I had a crowd that was in Puerto Rico. And this is just like Puerto Rico. Here they go. And here it is. Puts him in the corner and Zayas went right, right to work and he was in range to be hit. But that's what happens when you're trying to get your big shots through. Zayas was comfortable there. He had his chin tucked. Boom. You see a big left hook. He had his opponent hurt. He capitalized on He went to the body, went back to the head. That's what you see veteran fighters doing. That shot right there. Beautiful shot. It's hard to, get, to clear your head when you get hit to the body. And then the opponent goes right back to the head. That was a perfect sequence, perfect range from Zayas. That's how you finish a guy. You said it right there, Dre. Perfect range. You can see he's not smothering his shots right there. He's leaving a little room so he can extend with the right punches. That left hook snuck in there. The body shot was the one, the most effective punch of that combination right there. So what you want to do is you want to take your attention downstairs because you know no fighter likes to get hit downstairs. Ooh, that back oh. leg is hurt. Look yes. at that leg. Friars is in trouble here, and we know what a finisher Xander Zayas can be. Back leg not responding. The two fists of Xander Zayas are 
and in trouble is Larry Fryers. Gets caught with the left hook, another left hook. Celestino in is in there and he's stopping the fight at just the right time oh. as Xander Zayas gets a spectacular stoppage here in Las Vegas. See everything off the jab. Starting with the jab, that's fundamentally sound right there. Beautiful check hook right there. He saw Fryer step in to try to attack. He clipped him right on the temple. Like I said, he saw the legs there, he saw him wobble. You know, you have to develop a killer instinct in boxing. You can see the young gun. He saw, he hurt his man, and he went for the finish. This yeah, I'm is looking how at, it started, great. Right, this look, is how it ends. That's right, and I'm looking at the punches, but I'm also looking at the feet. His feet are always in position to generate maximum power and maximum leverage with his reach and his height. And that's why you see him getting clean head shots and body shots like that. Good stop it. And that body body shot right there from Xander Zayas got the attention of Sanchez right now. Oh, now a left hook to the chin and the legs of Sanchez are starting to get unsteady as the onslaught of punches from Zayas continues to flow. Big uppercut, now it's just a flurry of punches from the young prospect who's letting loose. But here comes a left hook from Sanchez, who's still dangerous off the ropes. No, no, I want to watch this. This is a good moment. I want to watch this. Oh, big right hand from Sanchez. Zayas lets loose, and he, he just misses and goes down. Ooh, beautiful shot right there by Xander Zayas. Bernardo soon alongside Timothy Bradley. We see the quick jab and left hook from Xander Zayas. And that right hand that puts Mastro Nunzio on his trunks. Oh, yeah. Target practice. You see Xander Zayas stocking right there. He saw the lazy jab come over. He's taking flush shots. Oh, my Red's got to really watch him. He's taking flush shots. Legs are not there. Good. And Zayas is making sure that he's going to continue clipping him, and that's the end of the fight. Another first-round knockout for Xander Zayas here at Madison Square Garden.